Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel Explore Edu TT. So here's another video on network analysis, the topic being resonance. So this topic is not only limited to engineering, I will say, but also in your level 12 standard for your preparation of your JE or something. So if you really like this video, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and try to send it to as many people as you can, not only to the engineering students, but also to the students who have this in their syllabus, even the 11th, 12th standard students who are studying for the entrance exam have this topic resonance in their syllabus. So please try to share it to as many people as you can so that it benefits many people. So getting into the topic, resonance. So what is resonance basically? Resonance takes place in RLC circuit, that is resistor, inductor and capacitor. My inductor stores the magnetostatic energy, whereas my capacitor stores the electrostatic energy. So what happens at resonance is, the inductor that stores the magnetostatic energy transfers the energy to C and capacitor transfers the energy to L. So resonance basically takes place in RLC circuit. Inductor will store the magnetostatic energy, capacitor will store the electrostatic energy and at resonance the transfer of energy will take place from L to C and C to L. I hope I am very clear with this. Okay, so what is quality factor? Quality factor is basically 1 upon dissipation factor. That is energy stored to energy dissipated. Now quality factor is equal to reactive power upon active power. So at resonance, we can say our inductive reactance is equal to my capacitive reactance. The inductive reactance is given as XL. The capacitive reactance is given as XC. The XL is equal to 2 pi FL. The XC is equal to 2 pi, 1 upon 2 pi FC. Why this FR is mentioned in place of F? Because we are talking at resonance. So at resonance, my frequency is given as FR. So if I have to find out the value of fr, is fr square is equal to 1 upon 4 pi square lc. That is fr is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of lc. So my resonant frequency is this value. I hope I am very clear to you. So as I said, resonance takes place in RLC circuit. Inductor will have its own storage. Capacitor will have its own storage. At resonance, the transfer of energy takes place. Quality factor is equal to 1 by dissipation factor, which is equal to energy stored upon energy dissipated. It is also equal to reactive power upon active power. At resonance, my inductive reactance is equal to my capacitive reactance. Hence, my FR is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of LC. This is a very important derivation. It is mostly asked, so please make a note of it. Now, let us try to compare the series RLC circuit and the parallel RLC circuit next. So in case of my series RLC circuit, as you know, it may be my series or maybe my parallel, my XL is equal to XC at resonance. Hence, my FR is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of LC. That I have already proved over here. Right? Now, we say that at resonance, the impedance is R, that is impedance is resistive. How do I say that? Z is equal to R plus J XL minus XC. Now, at resonance, as I mentioned, your XL is equal to XC. Hence, my Z is equal to R. That is, my impedance is resistive. Now, the current. The current is considered to be maximum in case of your resonance, that is I max is equal to V by R. Why V by Z is not given? Because my Z is resistive only. If I talk about the impedance curve, at this point I have my resonant frequency, 
so below the resonant frequency i have capacitive reactance above the resonant frequency i have inductive reactance and if i talk about the current graph as i mentioned in case of my resonance of series rlc circuit my current is maximum at resonance hence you will find that at resonance the current is maximum this value i have not marked it over here but it should be omega r the the frequency at which my current is maximum is omega r because in series rlc circuit at resonant frequency my current is maximum at omega 1 and omega 2 that is at the 3 db bandwidth my value of my current is im by root 2 hence my bandwidth is given as r by l i hope i am clear with this next i have my parallel rlc circuit again x is equal to xc the frequency is mentioned 1 by 2 pi square root of lc as in case of my series rlc circuit my current was maximum here my current will be minimum it is i minimum hence at omega at resonant frequency my current is minimum but at omega 1 and omega 2 that is at 3 db bandwidth frequency my current is i minimum into root 2 if you know in case of my series rlc circuit at re resonant frequency i had the maximum current then at 3 db bandwidth omega 1 omega 2 i have im by root 2 similarly at omega 1 omega 2 i have im into root 2 my bandwidth is given as 1 by rc that is omega 2 minus omega 1 and if you have seen the graph over here we had this impedance graph for my series rlc circuit so this will be my graph for my parallel rlc circuit this part is inductive whereas my part higher than the resonant frequency is capacitive and my quality factor is given as r into square root of c by l which is given as zeta by 2 zeta if you know i have taught this term in control system if you haven't watched the video go and watch it out zeta is basically a damping ratio that is more is the value of zeta more will be the opposite uh, more will be the opposition less is the value of zeta less will be the opposition to the sinusoidal waves so that is all so resonance is basically at rlc circuit it stores magnetostatic electrostatic energy lnc then we have at resonance the transfer of energy takes place what is quality factor so at resonance xl is equal to xc so you have the resonant frequency then you have the series rlc circuit in which the current is maximum then you have the parallel rlc circuit in which the current is minimum and try to find the answer so there will be lot of difference point so it can be very good question in the question paper also compare the series rlc circuit with the parallel rlc circuit so you should know that at series rlc circuit i have my current maximum in parallel it is minimum at series rlc circuit the bandwidth is given as r by l in case of parallel is given as 1 by rc the quality factor over here is given as 1 by r square root of l by c it's not mentioned over here but this is the value whereas in case of my quality factor in k parallel is r into square root of c by l so this are the point of differentiation i hope i have made you understand this very well if you like the video do not forget to like share subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on instagram the links are given down in the description box and please share it to as many uh, students you feel can get benefited out of it thank you so much god bless